Hello and welcome to Rediscovering Limerick. My name is Sharon Slater. In this episode, we will mostly be looking at the Perry family. Although the Perry family settled in Limerick in 1613, this episode focuses on the children of Sackpool Perry and his wife Jane Twig. These children were Edmund, William and Lucy, who each left an incredible mark on the Limerick we see today. Stackpool and Jane had three other daughters, Dymphna, Diana and Jane. William Cecil Perry had four streets named after him in Limerick. Obviously, William Street and Cecil Street, but also Glentworth Street and Mallow Street. This was due to him being named Baron Glentworth of Mallow in 1790. William Cecil Perry was the Bishop of Limerick. He served in St. Mary's Cathedral. Edmund Sexton Perry's Newtown Perry development has been mentioned in a previous episode, Four Ways That Limerick Has Changed the World. Edmund Sexton Perry was a member of the Irish House of Commons. He was a speaker in that house from 1771 to 1785. Edmund Sexton Perry was married twice, firstly to Patricia Martin in 1756. She died a year later, and secondly to Elizabeth Vesey, with whom he had two daughters. This is the home of Edmund Sexton Perry, the founder of the new town Perry area. He was also known as the Viscount Perry, a title that he alone held, as he had no heirs. Next door was the home of his brother, William. William became the Protestant Bishop of Limerick. His son would also become the first Earl of Limerick. Behind us stand the mews for the Sexton Perry houses. This is where their horses would have been stabled and above which the servants and stable hands would have lived. Lucy Perry Hearthstone was independently wealthy from her husband. She was also a humanitarian and as a result, she founded the Lock and Fever Hospital from her own funds. This is where Lucy Perry, the sister of William and Edmund Perry, would have lived with her husband, Henry Hearthstone. This is the old the gatehouse, the last bit of it. There was an old guard house here and Lucy Sexton Perry, who was married to Henry Hearthstone, she took over the guard house and converted it into a lock and fever hospital. It was knocked down and rebuilt into this main building that we see here today. But Sylvester O'Hanlon, not only did he have his own enterprise in his own hospital, he also gave his time to Lucy's hospital. As well as this, he also set up the Midwifery Hospital in Limerick, where he would give his time for free to help women in labour. The Lock and the Fever Hospital that this was, was the first of its kind in the country as well, which it took care of people who had cholera and infectious diseases, who otherwise would have been pretty much abandoned because they wouldn't have been able to stay in their homes as they would infect everybody else. So this was the first of its kind in the country. St Mary's Cathedral Graveyard is where the Perry family vault is situated. This rather unassuming plaque shows the burial vault for the Perry family. You can tell from its proximity to the cathedral itself how important the Perry family were within the Limerick Society. Don't forget to check out my website limerickslife.com to find out about things that happened in Limerick's past. And also, ilovelimerick.com to find out about things that are happening in Limerick today.